Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15W39B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And in this video, I'm going to be making a tweak to another item elevator design. This one is by Snow Crash. Uh, his design uses um, uh, cobblestone walls here uh, as a way to send the items up. I, I had uh, mentioned in a previous video uh, that um, the block that's inside here that sends the items up needs to have um, uh, basically a switchable hitbox, uh, sw a switchable collision box. Uh, and um, I, I had mentioned doors, trap doors, and fence gates uh, being three blocks that have uh, collision boxes that have um, that can be instantly switched. Uh, fences, uh, cobblestone walls, um, glass panes, iron bars, they also have uh, collision boxes that can be instantly switchable by placing blocks that uh, they connect to uh, directly next to them with a piston. And, and that's what's happening here. Now, I, I had uh, done some experimenting with that, and I had never really been able to work. But uh, he has this very clever design where he uses two of them right next to each other, and, and that um, prevents items from kind of getting stuck in between, which is one of the problems that I was having. Uh, but um, his design here, I, I tested it under some heavier loads. And I noticed um, items glitching out. Uh, they were just kind of flying towards the back of the uh, item elevator. Uh, and I had thought originally that might be due to this bug um, uh, that prefers the up direction over north or south. Uh, and I thought maybe things were kind of starting to go up in the elevator and then, and then they were spitting out because they weren't in the middle. Uh, so I created a, a couple of different orientations for this, and, and no, I, I still um, notice items glitching out. Uh, and it has to do with the, um, with the items as they're passing in front of the first piston here, this cobblestone wall that's being pushed by the first piston. Uh, and if they're on this block when the piston gets pushed, the item can sometimes just kind of fly out somewhere. So, uh, so this design is a little bit lossy, at least uh, it has been in my testing. Uh, and the other thing that um, I don't particularly uh, care for, I, I've used uh, clocks on some of my regulators uh, for some of my other designs, uh, but I, I would rather have um, uh, the pistons being driven uh, by signals uh, that are gotten from the items as they come through the stream rather than a clock. Uh, so I, I decided to try to fix both of those uh, problems at the same time. Uh, and uh, that's that's what I'm that's what this video is is about. I'm gonna try to uh, make a, a tweak to this uh, to this design here uh, that will prevent items from glitching out, uh, meaning that no items should be passing in front of this first piston as it's pushing this cobblestone wall, uh, and the um, the piston should be driven by a signal that's picked up as items come through the stream. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do here. Uh, let me uh, first get rid of this uh, this clock. Okay, there we go. And um, I'm going to put a pressure plate down uh, right here. Uh, now, I still want water flowing there, so I need to put the water back. Uh, another source block of water here. And I'm going to take a signal from this pressure plate in both directions. The uh, signal... Uh, I need a signal that goes to this um, uh, this piston over here, but I want these inverted, so I want them always on, basically. Okay, and um, in um, in Snow Crash's original design, this piston had a four tick delay, so I'm going to replace this uh, redstone wire with a repeater on a four tick delay. And that will make sure that they uh, go in, um, in in the appropriate uh, timing sequence. And now, I want um, uh, this. Uh, I want to um, uh, have these be a little bit more delayed. So I want to have another uh, uh, another four tick of delay here just to give items a little bit longer to get into the middle before the pistons fire. So 
Uh, I've got uh, four ticks, five with the torch uh, delay here, and nine ticks, uh, two, uh, eight for the repeaters, one for the torch here on this piston. And uh, now that will correctly fire the pistons as an item comes in. Let's go ahead and get a try. There we go. That gives the item enough time to uh, to get in before the pistons uh, fire. Uh, but now the problem is that if items are continuously coming across here, this pressure plate will uh, be continuously activated, which means our pistons will be continuously retracted. So uh, I'm going to add a trap here by adding an upward facing piston right here. There we go, right there. And I need to get a signal to this piston. Uh, I want this, uh, as soon as an item comes across this pressure plate, I want that piston to uh, retract the glass block, uh, sorry, the ice block here uh, in front of the pressure plate. Uh, and then I want it to be uh, uh, delayed a little bit after the pressure plate's activation. Uh, that will give everything in here time to clear out before the pressure plate gets activated again. So I'm going to be uh, creating a little bit of a mess of, uh, of redstone here in order to have kind of a, a compact uh, pulse extender. Uh, so let me put a uh, top half slab here, and I'm going to need a repeater on four ticks here. A little bit of redstone dust, and <laughs> I should have maybe moved that over. This is going to be a little close here. All right, so uh, that's that's pretty much it, um, and I need to uh, uh, that will have a, a nice little delay. Um, uh, or a nice little extension. And let me go ahead and get the signal from that right here. So this redstone dust is going to power this torch. And I just need um, this torch to power this piston down here. And I can do that with just a couple more uh, redstone dots there. Uh, all right, so um, I think everything's wired up. This is actually used as a little bit less redstone um, than his original design. Um, uh, that's not really so important here. What, uh, what's important to me is that um, uh, it's not running on a clock, so it's not continuously running uh, unless items are coming across. Uh, so I'm, uh, I've got this uh, dropper loaded up. Um, it's uh, wired to this clock here. It's going to spit out five items per second, and let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, items are coming across, and, and they're appro appropriately being batched. Uh, so that they uh, basically are never passing in front of this piston as this piston is closing. Uh, and at the same time, um, it is the items coming across the pressure plate that are dri that's driving the pistons. Oh, I just uh, caught an item. Uh, no, all, all it was just a visual glitch. Um, uh, so the, the items coming across the pressure plate are, uh, are, are what is driving the pistons. They're not actually being driven by a clock. Uh, so if I shut off the item stream, uh, the pistons will stop firing after the last items go across. There we go. Okay, let me grab what's up here and uh, go compare it to, to what was in the dropper. Uh, let me add everything back here just to see. Um, yep, yeah, we've got uh, nine full stacks. Uh, oh, no, wait, wait, oh, there was <laughs> missing the redstone. Okay, nine full stacks, yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, that uh, that was lossless. I didn't have anything glitching out, and again, it's because no items were passing in front of this first piston as it was extending and pushing the cobblestone wall into the uh, solid block next to it. Uh, and uh, there's no more clock anymore, so uh, the pistons are being driven by items as they go across, uh, across the pressure plate. Uh, I've tested this for light and heavy loads um, for both the um, uh, east-west and north-south orientations, and uh, it seems to work pretty well, uh, taking care of the glitchiness and removing the clock. I, I, I like his design, design a lot. This is just a small tweak, um, uh, uh, and uh, but I, I think that um, uh, this is probably uh, it's one of the quieter designs because it really just relies on pistons. 
not doors or trap doors or fence gates, which tend to be pretty loud. So uh, I like this design design a lot, and um, I think I've helped improve it just a, just a little bit. So uh, that's it then for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.